He warned that a modern day Carrington event could collapse our electrical infrastructure overnight. If we're due for a solar superstorm, why do you think space weather isn't taken as seriously as climate change? And what do you think planetary preparation should actually look like? Yeah, this is a tough one. As for why it's not taken as seriously as climate change, I think there are unhealthy dynamics in our academic environments that cause certain narratives to run away because those who are in a position to study them end up talking themselves into the importance, into their being a higher priority than other things. So I think we are in, in effect faced with a delusion about climate change. I'm not arguing that climate change doesn't exist or that humans are not a contributing factor, but as for whether or not it is the crisis of our age, I am ever more doubtful. Solar storms are a particular problem because their periodicity makes it such that most people do not understand the hazard. And by the time you do understand the hazard, it is liable to be too late. And I would say, if you look at the shores of Japan, you will find there are stones that are placed on hillsides that say, don't build below this stone. There's tsunami warnings. You can look these things up. In Indonesia, when the Boxing Day tsunami arrived. Most of the people on the coast there had moved to the coast sometime since the last major tsunami. There was indeed evidence on hillsides that tsunamis had been a recurrent phenomenon, but major tsunamis were hundreds of years apart. And so what you had is a naive population that didn't even have a word for this event. So people were caught off guard. And my point is the nature of solar storms is such that the last time we had a truly major one, the Carrington event of 1859. The world was not a an electronic place. In fact, there was very little that was electrical at all. We had telegraph systems, which in fact were thrown into chaos by the Carrington event. Telegraph operators were shocked at their desks. Uh, telegraph stations caught fire. Telegraph operators found that they could transmit messages even though the electricity was off to the system based on the induced currents in the wires. That was profound. But for other people whose lives were not built around electricity, it was not a significant event. 